Universal Studios Hollywood is replacing its noisy old diesel trams with whisper quiet new electric vehicles. We talked with Glenn Connolly, Senior Vice President of Universal Studios Hollywood, about the conversion. Can you give us some idea of the scale of, of this? I mean, what's the towing capacity on these? What's, what's the size of the battery that you need to move all that weight up and down these hills? So the design is certainly proprietary, but you know, obviously I think everyone can see the, the, the change in elevation, which is definitely over 200 feet. So with that, we certainly had to have a robust design. We had to have one that would sustain the acti activity of all of our attractions. We didn't go in those three attractions today as a part of the studio tour, but that design had to incorporate that. And, and one of the goals that we always had here when we started this project was we didn't want to change our normal operation. We really wanted to keep it operating the way it does today. So part of doing that, not only in working with Complete Coach Works on the design itself, but also with WAVE, okay? So WAVE stands for Wireless Advanced Vehicle Electrification. So if you, if you look out there, you'll see some charging pads. So um, what we do is we inductively charge um, the batteries both at unload and load. So how long does it take to, I mean, is this something that happens in a few seconds, few minutes, few hours? Yeah, so, so at the end of the day, we don't change the normal operation. So uh -huh. it, it just happens within the normal course of us operating the studio tour the way we do um, and, and always have here mm -hmm. at Universal Studios, which is fantastic. That technology is there to the point now to where we can actually operate that way. In order for us to sustain the operation, we had to get all this electrical infrastructure done and the wireless system in, the wireless charging system, that's all done. So now for this fleet, it's, it's all about the electric tram conversions from here on out. So. so a little bit of a timeline, you know, we were back in feasibility and sourcing back in 2017. Um, we got into design in 2018 and then we got into prototype in 2019 and then it went from there. And right about the time uh, around 2020 is when we started diving in heavily with the electrical infrastructure enhancements and that um, went into 21 a little bit as well. Uh, so we have four that are out there operating with our guests right now. We'll have the fifth by early June with our guests and then we have 16 more to go after that. So we have 21 total trams and it is a conversion. So it's not new trams, it is a conversion, which is even greener, right? Um, but we'll be working on converting those over the next few years. Do you have a goal uh, date for the completion of the conversion? Um, we do, early 2025. The goal, we had probably four or five different goals associated with it. So at Universal Studios Hollywood, we've always wanted to be strong corporate citizens. So we believe it fits within that. Secondly, the company has a broad sustainability goal. So it, it clearly fits clearly within that too. And then the guest enhancement part of it. You know, there's, there's some noise reduction as a part of it. Um, the studio itself in the time that the tour is down there, there's certainly a need to watch out where there's some production activity that's going on. So for us to have trams rolling through where there's less noise associated with them, it's certainly a benefit to the studio. And obviously the onboard experience with the media and the tour guys that we're so proud of, um, it enhances that experience too.